Alrighty. One of the big tasks that I need to do around here, especially before we leave for winter to get, take a trip or anything like that, I gotta fix that roof. Now that roof is so bad that I've been having roofing nails landing down here on my asphalt and you can see uh, part of the wood up underneath the shingles right there. In fact, that's got me wondering if my old roofing wood under there is damaged and I'm gonna go up inside the shed and uh, take a look. I'm planning to add some strength and structure when I do this. I'm gonna be putting metal roof back on it. But if I've got any rotted wood, I should address that too. Uh, so, I mean, we got some big spider webs up here. This is not, well, I don't know. You know, I got some small little beams like this. And I got some big ones. I kind of got a mix of this and that. What I'm thinking about doing, I'm guessing these are two foot centers. And you can see where this is, maybe that's a two by six, and that's a two by three, two, and then a two by six. And a two before. So they didn't use a lot of wood in this roof to start with. What I'm thinking about doing is uh, leaving the old asphalt roof on there, but coming out and putting a new set of uh, rafters out here out of maybe two befores, which was gonna raise my roof by a little bit. I put the two befores up there and then I'll put strips on it the same way I would do if I was building a shed. So that would raise my roof a little bit, but then I just come out here with a facing board and uh, it'll make this roof stronger. Maybe I'll use two by three rough hemlock. I got some, well I got some in the truck here I can show you. I got some two by three, these are two by three hemlock. Now that's a pretty strong board. If I could find a bunch of them long enough to make that roof span, that would make it stronger. And I could put them right on top of the old trusses. You can kind of see where there's a little sag in that roof toward the middle there. I need to know how, uh, how tall that roof is, which means I need to get up on it. I think probably the easiest way to get up on it is to go around back and get a tape measure. But if I go around back, I can climb up I believe on the roof fairly easily coming up on the shed side back there. Let's go take a look. My neighbor's been getting his house redone. He's got brand new white siding on it. They went in there and they put new insulation under it, new boards. They did a nice job. I know it must have cost quite a lot of money because they did quite a lot of work. They've been working on that for a couple weeks. It's going to be some pretty, I can tell you that. So, see, I think I can go right up on the back of the shed. Uh, somebody left a nice hammer sitting there. <laughs> I bet I did that. I'm the only one I know around here that's got a nice hammer. <laughs> but I think I can go through the garden and kind of walk right up the roof here. Turn y'all off so I don't fall down while I do this. I got a scar on my knee where when I was a kid I went to climb up on a roof like this and my knee hit the edge of that. Whew, that was. 40, more than 40 years ago. I still got scar from it though. So it taught me to be careful when you're working around a metal roof like that. I tell you what though, these metal roofs, they're, they're all, the, all the rage as far as I'm concerned. They, they make so much more sense now than 
asphalt roofs and uh, I can do that one with 12 feet of metal and I can do it with 12 foot boards I doubt if they cut 12 foot 2 by 3s but I'm pretty sure the sawmill has 12 foot 2 by 4s which would work just fine uh, so I'm gonna go inside here and count out how many I think I would need I also should be uh, thinking about whether I want to have a little hangover on each side which I could do fairly easily it doesn't take much <laughs> 